Egypt had one of the largest and most complex pantheons of gods of any civilization in the ancient world. Over the course of Egyptian history, hundreds of gods and goddesses were worshipped. The characteristics of individual gods could be hard to pin down. Most had a principal association, for example, with the sun or the underworld and form. But these could change over time as gods rose and fell in importance and evolved in ways that corresponded to developments in Egyptian society. Here are a few of the most important deities to know. Number 1. Osiris Osiris, one of Egypt's most important deities, was god of the underworld. He also symbolized death, resurrection, and the cycle of Nile floods that Egypt relied on for agricultural fertility. According to the myth, Osiris was a king of Egypt who was murdered and dismembered by his brother Seth. His wife, Isis, reassembled his body and resurrected him, allowing them to conceive a son, the god Horus. He was represented as a mummified king, wearing wrappings that left only the green skin of his hands and face exposed. Number 2. Isis. The origins of Isis are obscure. Unlike many gods, she can't be tied to a specific town, and there are no certain mentions of her in the earliest Egyptian literature. Over time she grew in importance, though, eventually becoming the most important goddess in the pantheon. As the devoted wife who resurrected Osiris after his murder and raised their son, Horus, Isis embodied the traditional Egyptian virtues of a wife and mother. As the wife of the god of the underworld, Isis was also one of the main deities concerned with rites for the dead. Along with her sister Nephthys, Isis acted as a divine mourner, and her maternal care was often depicted as extending to the dead in the underworld. Isis was one of the last of the ancient Egyptian gods to still be worshipped. In the Greco-Roman period, she was identified with the Greek goddess Aphrodite, and her cult spread as far west as Great Britain and as far east as Afghanistan. It is believed that depictions of Isis with the infant Horus influenced Christian imagery of Mary with the infant Jesus. Number 3. Ra one of several deities associated with the sun, the god Re was usually represented with a human body and the head of a hawk. It was believed that he sailed across the sky in a boat each day and then made a passage through the underworld each night, during which he would have to defeat the snake god Apopis in order to rise again. Ra's cult was centered in Heliopolis, now a suburb of Cairo. Over time, Re came to be syncretized with other sun deities, especially Ammon, Number 4. Hathor The goddess Hathor was usually depicted as a cow, as a woman with the head of a cow, or as a woman with cow's ears. Hathor embodied motherhood and fertility, and it was believed that she protected women in childbirth. She also had an important funerary aspect, being known as the Lady of the West. Tombs were generally built on the west bank of the Nile. In some traditions, she would welcome the setting sun every night, Living people hope to be welcomed into the afterlife in the same way. Number 5. Anubis Anubis was concerned with funerary practices and the care of the dead. He was usually represented as a jackal or as a man with the head of a jackal. The association of jackals with death and funerals likely arose because Egyptians would have observed jackals scavenging around cemeteries. In the Old Kingdom, 2,575, 2,130 before Christ. Before Osiris rose to prominence as the lord of the underworld, Anubis was considered the principal god of the dead. According to the Osiris myth, Anubis embalmed and wrapped the body of the murdered king, becoming the patron god for embalmers.